the Mississippi River watershed is a world-class river and it drains a long distance, it drains a lot of water, and there's a lot of activity within that watershed that can cause problems with the nutrient levels. The amount of fresh water that came in this year was more than we've had in a long time. The Bonnet Carey Spillway was opened twice this year and that has not happened in recent history. Fisheries, oysters, crabs, fish, those were those declined. If you're trawling for shrimp, over this area, any of this area that's outlined in black, there will be no shrimp on the bottom. This year's number was uh, close to some of the largest numbers, and I estimated that the size this year was about the size of the land area of the state of New Jersey. Our largest area to date was in 2017, and it approached the size of about uh, Massachusetts. Other areas in the world when you reduce the nutrients, you can improve the water quality. And it's not just the Gulf of Mexico. The watershed has the same toxic cyanobacterial blooms, these blue-green algal blooms that are harmful to children, dogs, people, and nitrate levels in drinking water often exceeds the safe standards.